so you've seen me try and surf Kelly Slater's perfect artificial wave, get shocked by the full body Tesla suit and lift plenty of heavy boxes. This is Beta Test Live on the CNET stage at CES and I'm Lexi Savides. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, it is an exoskeleton by Airframe. It's, that's the name of the product and the company is Levitate. I am joined by Joseph Zawida. Joseph, welcome to CES. Thank you so much for having Thank us. Thank you for bringing in this exoskeleton. Now, for people that aren't familiar with exoskeletons, what exactly is it and what does it do? Yes, this is an ergonomic technology that supports the upper extremity of factory workers, surgeons, consumers in general. So it's worn as an ergonomic device that is considered like any other personal protective equipment. So in a factory building cars or airplanes, you can come in, put in your earplugs, put in your safety shoes, your safety glasses, and your airframe to protect the musculoskeletal system of your upper body like the shoulder, neck, and back. So it's just another piece of equipment that you would suit up with at another day on the factory assembly line, exactly. right? Exactly. So, so let's walk through some of the components. I mean, sure. obviously, it's kind of like a backpack in how I put it on. Maybe I'll turn around and you can kind of point out each of the components that I'm wearing. Absolutely. It's very much like backpacking backpacks. So you've got the frame that is rigid, made out of aluminum, that goes all the way down the spine to the outside of the hips. So what this rigid frame does is it takes the load off your arms through a spring and pulley and cable mechanism inside what we call the cassette. Mm -hmm. And then that weight of your arms is offloaded onto the spine not to your lower back, but to the outside of these struts, to the outside of the hips. So this is taking all of that weight for me, essentially. So correct. I'm not exercising much of my muscle capacity, correct? Correct. Instead of using 100% of your muscle, you are using 70 to 80% of your muscle. So when we take 10 to 30% off the edge, that's what makes the big difference in reducing injury, reducing fatigue, and not impacting productivity. So what you're saying is really, I could potentially be Iron Man, right? You can, I, potentially. You can potentially be right. Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, yes. so where is this being currently used? Like, do you have clients <coughs> that are using it in factories, like real world situations right now? We absolutely do. We've been deploying hundreds of them at, at, at single factories. We have 80 global customers in the US, Central and Southern America, Canada, Europe and Japan. Uh, one of our biggest customers, and unfortunately, a lot of them don't allow us to talk about oh, our sales, but, but I can name some great <laughs> companies like Toyota, um, Textron Aviation, BMW Manufacturing. We are in five plants in North America at Toyota. So it's being used a lot in a lot of different places in to help. In a lot of different places. And also, the whole point is to help workers stop getting injured and yes. to help them work more effectively, Absolutely. essentially. Absolutely. Okay, so you and I are wearing slightly different models, yes. aren't we? So this is the regular airframe. Correct. This one, it looks a little different. I can notice yes. the, the fabric is a little bit different. It's yes. blue. What is this one? So this is our latest innovation and addition to our product line and it is our fire retardant airframe. Oh, no way. So, so I could, if, if it, you get sparks or anything, it's totally fire retardant? Absolutely. Um, it is either covered by fire retardant fabric or all the buckles, all the straps, all the soft goods are fire retardant. So all the material you see here is different than the material you have. You don't want to have a welder put this on and have the sparks create fire. So they put on their welding jacket and put on this airframe on top of it. And it's just like the one you're wearing, functional, just the same, but it can be used for welding and what we call hot work, such as grinding and sanding and so forth. So it's a whole new line of products that we're introducing. One of them is this FR version. I'm kind of scared to know the sort of testing that you had to do to make sure that it was really fire resistant. The, <laughs> Navy, the US Navy was kind enough to actually do the testing. They looked at all the specs, they made sure that we did everything right, and they validated it and they actually approved its testing at, uh, in Seattle by the Navy. So we got the green light from them to start manufacturing and providing them the product. We're looking at some of uh, some footage of it actually being used in current settings in factories right now. So there's a lot of overhead work there, like drilling and things like that. And yes. obviously, this is going to support the arms in order to make that easier, right? Correct. Correct. Excellent. OK, so obviously, that's a factory-specific situation. But we've kind of simulated something a yes. little bit factory-like here. <coughs> we have some shelves. 
And I think you're going to put me to work. Yes. I, I, I think. Okay, so let's start turning turning okay, things on. Okay, so right now it is deactivated. Okay. And if you could get your arms out of the yep, device, out. please, I will just activate both sides. And I ask you to swing your arms back in. Okay. And now it's active and it's oh. helping you. Okay. Yeah, my yeah. arms my arms are just totally just being held up yes. automatically. Like I, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. I'm just, you and know, it's easy. And when your arms are lowered... The force goes away, That's so you normal. can. That's normal. Okay, so I'm low. moving around normally now. Yes. And then my arms are up, and I can stand here all day. I don't know why I would. Yes. In a normal situation, but if I was in a factory doing things involving a lot of reaching out, that would be very handy. Absolutely, it's like a helping hand. You know, when you raise your arm and you start to feel that fatigue. Yeah. That's when the mechanism kicks in and it goes away when your arms are dropped. So I notice there are cartridges here. Yes. And is that for a different level of strength? It is. Okay. We have six different levels of strength. And the number that you see there, if I can point that yep. out, you are wearing a number three cassette. Mm -hmm. So that's in the middle of the range of the support level. We, you can have the right size armrest, right size cassette, right size frame. These frames come in four different sizes. The cassettes come in multiple levels. So do the armrests. Once we configure it for you, it's set that way and you never have to change it again. Nice. And so yes. what are these components that we have here? This is so all part yeah. of it? This is, these are all accessories that accessories. our customers have actually asked us to develop. Oh, okay. So we're, they're always finding new needs for their exoskeleton. This is the mini version of the headdress that you are wearing. Ah, okay. Sometimes they're wearing hard hats in the factories. So, so that would get in the way. That would get in the way. So the idea of this headrest is, yes. so if I'm doing something over here, oh, it's quite comfortable actually. I can just sit here and look at the ceiling if I wanted to. Yes. And it wouldn't put any strain on my head. If you look up <laughs> for more than two minutes without a headrest, you'll start feeling the strain. Uh, yeah. This takes that away. Again, it doesn't take away all the muscle activity. It takes mm -hmm. away 20 to 30% of the muscle activity. And that's crucial in order to help prevent injury, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's that excess inflammation. You know, at the end of the day, when the worker goes, ah, you know, that was yeah. a long day, that aching is what we get rid of. Okay, let's try this out. I actually yes. want to try this out because okay. that's the whole point of this show is I get to try things yes, and yes. experience them for you. Okay, so what am I going to be doing here? Picking and packing, right? Yes, one of the latest entries into uh, the exoskeleton world for us is picking and packing at fulfillment centers. So what we wanted to do is simulate a picking and packing environment, which people do all day long at fulfillment centers like Amazon, Walgreens, whatever the case may be. And we want you to do exactly what they do, which is put the bottles, as, and you can imagine these being any type of merchandise, mm -hmm. put them in here, just close it as if you taped it, and you push it to the conveyor belt. All right. We'd like to do the cycle once without the exoskeleton being activated. Okay, so, so let switch me it off. deactivate if you get your arm out. One more time. All right. So. If you don't mind, then go at it with five bottles in here and five, three in here. Five and three. All right. Here we go. Putting me to work. Packing. I mean, three, four, five. Take it out. Seal up the box. Push it aside. Two and three. Coming in. Okay. So it's not that strenuous right now because I only did... Eight bottles. Correct. But if I was doing that for eight hours a day, five days a week, that would be incredibly strenuous. Absolutely. That same repetitive motion. Okay, so now I have an idea of what that's like. We're going to put them all back. Yep. That was without the exoskeleton. It was out without the airframe. So let's try this again one more time. See, there's a lot of Fiji water here. Yeah. You, I saw you were going after the Golden Globes meme, the <laughs> Fiji maybe, girl. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> okay, let All me right. activate it All right, let's for you. reactivate. Okay, now put your arms back in. In we go. And repeat the task. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's so much easier because it feels like I have very little activation in my upper arm. Very, very little. Like, I, I feel like... Most of the work, and it's not even work, is just coming from my hand just to grab. Yes. So it's not strenuous at all if I'm not so clumsy and drop the water bottles <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> okay. That is, yeah, incredibly, so much easier. Yeah. And I mean, you know, it doesn't replace your arm, right? It just it augments it just enough to take the edge off. Exactly. So exactly right. Yeah. So that's for like picking and packing. What about lifting and other kind of motions like that? Will this help with that? It does not help with lifting. Okay. It is not a lumbar support technology. Mm -hmm. What it does is it's for movement of the arms, whether it's static or repetitive. So if you're welding all day long or picking and packing, one other type of work that you referenced earlier 
is overhead work. This happens a lot. We it's are currently tough. working with uh, a fulfillment center that is being built, and you have to install the water sprinklers in a million square foot facility. That's a lot of installation so right there. A oh. lot of installation. Oh. So they use it to build the fulfillment center, and then they use it for their picking of packers and pickers when they get in there. But I want you to just hold this up for a couple of seconds with the airframe activated, okay. and then I want to remove it from your arm, and you tell me the difference of what it does for you. We almost need to set a timer or something to yes. see how long. I mean, this is very comfortable. <coughs> like, I could stay here feasibly for, I think I could probably last 10 minutes in this position easily. I at would least, say so. At I would least. Say so. Yeah. I and mean, so it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. Okay, so if I'm going to put it down now. No, actually, leave it right leave there. Leave it there. Oh, okay. And you're I am just okay. going to leave your arm in the same position. And I'm just going to do this. Oh, that's not comfortable <laughs> at all. That is n uh, so uncomfortable. I can feel it all there in my bicep. I mean, great if you want to be doing some weight training, but doing this every day at work, yes. so incredibly repetitive and so very painful. It is. It, it makes is. such a difference. It really is. You know, these, these workers work so hard. Companies like Toyota, they don't call, call them workers. They call them team members because these people are building the cars that they are selling. So they want to take care of them as much as they can because they know that they ache and get tired at the end of the day. So with us, we feel it right away. With these people, they live with it every day. So it's making a very big difference for them. So let's talk about price. If okay. I wanted to buy one of these and yes. I'm an everyday consumer, what are we looking at? So we are currently not marketing into the consumer world. Oh, come on. Yes. I really want to <laughs> buy one now. <laughs> Uh, we're, you know, we, we have a lot of these big companies that are constantly working with us to do studies and to improve the technology, and they're buying them in large numbers for their workers. It retails at the distributor level for $5,000, just okay. under $5,000. And obviously, is there a bulk discount? There is a bulk if you discount. you buy multiple, because probably you, you're buying hundreds of them at a time. Correct. When we work with a company like Toyota, for example, there's... Definitely some special pricing. Oh, uh, this has been fantastic. Uh, Excellent. I thank you so much for coming in, Joseph, and thank showing you. me all about the airframe by Levitate. It's been a pleasure.